You see him on Good Day every Friday and Saturday as he helps you get ready for a weekend of fishing. But maybe recently you've noticed Captain Dylan Hubbard has lost some weight. And by some, we're talking more than 100 pounds. And now Captain Hubbard is sharing how and why he transformed his entire lifestyle with our Fox 13's Tony Sadiku in this week's fitness forecast. So you're down 110 pounds in under a year. Just about, yeah. I mean, I started around November of last year, around Thanksgiving time last year, and it's just been, uh, it started slow, and it's been uh, gaining momentum and gaining steam, and once you see a little bit of uh, result, it further drives you and inspires you, right? And I've just been adding to what I've been doing, and it's been slowly building kind of to a crescendo. So how do you feel today? I feel great. I feel great. Every day gets a little bit better and every day starts a new battle. All right, so why don't you take me through your workout? All right, let's do it. Normally when I show up, I basically just kind of go through a whole circuit. A lot of high repetition, a lot of body weight stuff. Uh, a little bit more sports. Discipline has been a huge part of it. So this is how the day starts, hopping on this bad boy. Just get after it, that's the trick. At 4.30 getting on here, it feels terrible, but uh, at 5.45 showing up to work, most people are still trying to wake up and get their day started and drinking coffee and I've been awake. The workout that we, we went through, that wasn't what I started with, right? Uh, and a lot of people are like, well, you must be working out a lot or you must be doing this or... It must be really difficult. For me, it's more, it's, you gotta start slowly. Do you feel like the discipline is trickled into the rest of your life? A hundred percent. And for me, that's been monumental, is I've gotten my physical health into shape, but it's really been a mental health improvement and just thinking clearer, dealing with a lot of anxiety and stress and not <clears throat> sleeping well. and not functioning well. People are like, oh, that's part of getting old. That's unhealthy. So we're on the Pinellas Trail. You got your vest on. Tell me that's about it. these walks that you go on. So uh, basically, my goal is to try to make sure I get my 10,000 steps in a day. And some days, um, there's a lot going on at the marina, right? Or there's a lot, maybe I'm in a fisheries meeting and I'm sitting down all day. Uh, I try to avoid or offset being sedentary by trying to walk as much as I can. These walks have outgrown above and beyond that goal because like like I said it's it's a drip that's turned into a waterfall and at first it was just simply getting up and moving so maybe I think at, in the beginning last November getting up and walking for a mile was sometimes pretty laborious you know I approach this differently I approach this as a lifestyle change and I approach this as I got to do really small little changes that are sustainable. So I just want to thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Yeah. 110 pounds down, but one last question for you. What do you say to someone who says, man, I want to get on this fitness journey, but I'm just too busy? <laughs> well, if you're too busy to get healthy and to take care of yourself, you're just too darn busy.